Hi, Adam Small here with Agent Sauce and the Real Estate Marketing Minute. It's been a wild couple of weeks here with all that's going on in our country and across the world at the moment. I was talking to a friend of mine last week about all this and, and he had just written a blog post for his martech.zone blog and one of the things that he said was uh, there are really only three reactions that you can have to what's going on right now. One of them is fear, the other is anger, and then finally getting busy, getting back to work. So the more I thought about it, the more I feel like he's absolutely right. You can react in fear, you can react in anger and lash out, or you can get busy and get to work. And so from my perspective, that's what I want to talk to you guys about today. I want to talk to you about getting back to work and getting productive again. And a lot of you guys are, are, are very concerned, I'm sure, about, you know, how's the market? Are people going to want to buy? Are they going to want to sell? And I'll tell you, I'm still seeing, even after a week of being asked to stick around the house's social distance and not get out unless you absolutely have to, I'm still seeing postings online, um, you know, social media and stuff like that about, you know, just closed another, just listed this just sold that, just got a, a, a wrote up a great offer, that sort of thing. So business is still happening. People still need to buy, still need to sell. You know, right now you're in a position where it's your job to reaffirm to them that, you know, we'll come out of this okay and we'll continue to move forward. Life does go on no matter what's going on at the moment. You know, so, um, you know, that's one aspect of getting busy, you know, and, and for those of you that are in areas where you don't have or in position where you don't have listings or you don't have buyers or whatever, you know, now is a perfect time to pull out your database, your CRM or your Excel spreadsheet or whatever it is that you're using and start going through it and looking at the people, identifying those that have missing pieces of data. You may not have their phone number or their address or maybe an email address, right? And whatever piece of data it is that you're missing, reach out to them and ask them for it. You know, if, if you've got their phone number but not their email address, reach out and, you know, pick up the phone. Call them and say, hey, you know, I'm just updating my database here while we're sitting through all this downtime and just wanted to talk to you and see if I couldn't get your email address you know, or fill in the rest of your address or whatever it is. You know, it's a great opportunity for you to connect on a personal level with people out there, you know, and while you're talking to them, you know, don't just make it all business about getting their information. Ask them, how are you doing? You know, or is there anything I can do to help you? You know, I know a lot of people in the neighborhood or in this area, you know, a lot of vendors. If you need something done, I can probably hook you up with somebody, you know, point you in the right direction to help you get something accomplished. You know, let me know. You know, that way you're putting out a uh, opportunity for them to connect with you on, a, on another level where you're helping them out, right? You're, you're offering to be of assistance and that sort of thing. You know, it's great for everybody involved if that happens. So, you know, my recommendation for you right now as we get through this is to assure the people that you are currently working with that things are going to be okay, economy is going to be fine, we're going to come back and, you know, still a good time to buy, still a good time to sell, life moves on, and, you know, if, you're, if you've if you got a whole database full of contacts, it's a great opportunity to update that database so that you've got a, a good, clean information going forward, and you, you take the opportunity to, to get in front of these people now and potentially get a referral or just help somebody out. So that's what we recommend you do at the moment. Touch that database, get busy, stay safe. Thanks for watching Real Estate Marketing Minute. We'll see you next time.